be my request of the client. What did I say? The master server can be a client of itself. So that's why you see the justification of IP bind running on the master as well. I will come to this letter. YPXFRD. YPXFRD is responsible to push the maps, transfer the maps from the master to the slaves. Master to the slaves. RPC.YP password D. What is RPC.YP password D used for? Now, for example, I create a user account, user1 here. I run the make command and I update it in the NIS database. So that means can I can I log in from a client over here? You can, right? So I logged in as a client, as user1. Can I change the user password? Now if I run only password enter, the password utility will search for user1 user in the etc password and etc shadow file of the local client. <laughs> so in that case we should use either password minus r space username or you can say yp password username. So yp password or password minus r, r stands for remote password, remote users will then use yp serve to go and request rpc.yp password d to update, listen here, to update password file and shadow file and also update the password map with the new user password. Is it clear? Is it clear? So, don't give password space username. Doesn't make sense. It will give unknown user. Because password command will look for user1 in the local database. So, you should give yp password or password minus r which will request the exact daemon here to update the password shadow file of the master server and then run a make command to update the password map which will hold the new password. Is it clear? And also replicate to the slave if there are slaves. Push it to the slaves. rpc.yp updated D. This is required for any other maps what you update. For password they have given explicitly. You know why? Because Password for a normal user can also be updated by a normal user. Keep in mind. Whereas other maps are not updated by normal user. So they have, have a separate service for these two. So I was telling you all the clients binding is done. So I have just justified, I have just justified the service, the the reason for these services. Yes, there is one more thing which is quite interesting. Uh, remember I was telling you before we went for break, there is a file called YP servers on the client side which tells you that which is my NIS server. So here it is, where YP binding domain name inside this folder you have a file called YP servers. Inside YP servers you will have the NIS master server name and an IS layer server. So we have already learnt about this file, you recall? An IS and, a, and all that, not found return and all that. NIS security. Now this file, listen this, this file allows you to implement security wherein you can tell, you can tell that if I update NIS map, where it has to push, it has to push to all the slaves. So inside this file, inside this file, I can specify the name of the host who are allowed to be pushed. So that means I have 20 slave server. You don't want 20 slave servers to be pushed. You want only 5 of them to be pushed. Then only put these 
five server names inside this one. How do you stop and start in IS services? So what is the fMRI path? The fMRI path is network NIS server. Now there is a there is a problem. If you configure today an NIS server and you go to the client, let us take I have a user called user1, I have updated here, I go to the client, made that machine as a client and how will I see that user is there in the NIS database or not? I can check CAC ETC hosts, sorry ETC password, ETC shadow, there user1 will not be there because user1 is in the centralized repository. But I want to check sitting on the client that whether user1 is there in the centralized repository or not. So I will run a command called ypcat password. So ypcat command password from the client comes to the server via ip bind, via with the help of ip server on the server looks onto the NIS map, give you the output. See unfortunately, see unfortunately the output will have, listen here, the output will have against the username the encrypted password also displayed on the screen. Are you getting what I am saying? The output also will have the encrypted password displayed on the screen, which is bad. Somebody can copy and paste that encrypted password to some decrypting tool. Your English text has come. <laughs> then you know that user account as well as the password from the client side also. So it's a great security risk. So what they are saying is, what they are saying is, you can have a file called password.adjunct inside the same location as etc where password also is there etc shadow also is there you can have a file called password.adjunct now what will password.adjunct contain password.adjunct should contain a copy of etc password file that's all are you getting a point? So password and shadow file combination is your password map. Listen carefully. Password and shadow file is combination is your password map. And in the password map, you are seeing the encrypted characters which are in the shadow, which were in the shadow file. Now they are saying to avoid that, copy that etc password file to etc password.agent. Is it clear? After that, run the make command. So the make command will show you the password that agent file will not show you, will suppress the actual map. Is it clear? Because you don't want, you don't want the encrypted password to be. So this password that agent will be under ETC. See here. Yeah, yeah, see here. I'll just show you an example. See this. See this. After you created the map, you see, your encrypted password is shown. Don't you think it's bad? Hey, very bad it is. If you create a password.agent in the same file, you can actually have something else. In the password.agent, you can put some other things also. Here they have removed that X, have you seen? And put some comments. You can put. So whatever is there in the password.agent file, against the same username is displayed in front end to you. It's just like a wrapper, you know. Just like a wrapper, somebody wrapping it. So password turned agent is a wrapper over your actual password map. Is it clear? So this they are saying, this they have saying, doing this they have achieved C2 level of security. Have you heard of orange book security, red book security, C2 level of security? There are different types of security, correct? 
So C2 level of security is one of the good standard of security. Can you open this file? Where will IP make file? Capital M, huh? make file capital M. Where YP make file? VI, VI. VI. Look for these following words, keywords or variables. INET DIR. What is INET DIR? What is INET T demo in the morning? I was telling your network services. So if you want to keep your network services file other than your default location ETC, then you can do so. Is it clear? For example, INET dot want to keep separately. Why you don't want to keep under ETC? Because you want to treat your NIS master ETC files only as local. These should not be converted into shared database so that it is shared by all the client as well. Are you getting? Same as what I was telling you about password and shadow file. So you want to have your own directory to generate the map, you can. For password alone you can have separate. Have you seen that? Now question is, how do we configure? How do we configure? YP init minus M. M stands for master. YP init. This is the command. M stands for master. S stands for slave. Followed by the master server name. So M stands for master. It will ask you domain name. This is very self-explanatory domain name. You have to give the domain name. See? Domain name. Domain name. So we can give domain name. Now we see here. The domain name command followed by the domain name what you give is not persistent. Meaning across reboot it is gone. So you need to put the domain name what you are giving it here in the etc default domain file permanently. So you can say, first step you can say domain name rcs.com then you can say domain name redirected to slash etc slash default domain. Okay, so you can redirect the output to that file. That means your etc default domain is having rcs.com. This is not mandatory, but if you can, you can. Are you aware about local? Local in installation, while installation will ask you local. We choose en underscore us. What is local? Local is nothing but the keyboard and settings, keyboard layout settings. Keyboard layout, mouse layout settings. 